to me. Um, we can talk about any type of topics, conspiracy theories, history, movies. Um, if you saw a good movie and you want to, you want to talk about it, or if I saw a good movie, I'll bring that up and I'll, I'll say, oh, have you seen this movie? Or I just saw this movie. We can talk about that. Um, if you're having a bad day and you want to vent, just come on into my channel. I don't have many restrictions, barely any. Um, my, own, my I only use, have one restriction. Please be mature and don't be um, treat want each other like you'd want to be. You'd want to treat. Sorry, I'm getting my words twisted. Treat each other as if you'd want as if as you'd want to be treated. Okay, there we go. Got it out. That's all I ask. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna, um, if you wanna ask for a follow, that's fine. If you wanna promote your channel, that's fine. I don't. That's perfectly fine in my, um, in my stream. You can do that. I don't have many restrictions. Um, this is supposed to be a place you could come. You can listen to me. Um, and like I said, it's just a safe place to, to be, we, so we can all have some fun and just, uh, uh, chill, so, um, but other than that, um, so I got an Xbox, like I believe I told most of you, I've been looking since, like, right before the pandemic, like right around when the pandemic started. And for us, it started, like, in March, so I'd say probably around April, because, like, right, at, right around when it started. So, like, April is when I started looking for an Xbox, because it's mine, I, mine broke. And I finally got one. I got one, and I was able to get it. So, I'm going to be, sh I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be streaming video games as well as doing this, um face-to-face -face, um, stream with you guys. I'll do the face-to-face -face stream with you guys around this time um, every day. And I'll probably still be, um, like, I'm new to this. I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't have my schedule really. It says, I have a schedule with my parents again. So my schedule is really hard to, it's hard to stick to it because I'm getting interrupted by my parents from time to time. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I moved, moved back in with my parents. A lot to take in. Ooh. Hard. Um, but, but, um, so, uh, anyway, um, I... lost my train of thought <laughs> and I lost a viewer <laughs> somebody's like what is he doing he's not even talking now I know I lose my train of thought from time to time I was in a car accident years ago and I suffered a brain injury and that just sort of I my mind sometimes I lose train I lose my train of thought so that's why when I talk like this that's why because of a car accident not that I'm stupid or slow, it's just I have some uh, cognitive issues from that. Um, happened when I was 20, hit a tree with a car, so. And that's why I don't have teeth, also, on the bottom of my mouth, because of that accident. But, uh, hey, I'm just thankful to be here. Could have turned out a lot worse for, for my family, so. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I always say that a lot. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm, I'm, and I am, an, I'm one of two because it would mean that my channel is growing and that I'm going in, I'm going in the right direction of where I want to be going. Um, because I want to do this as a career because because of my physical disabilities, I can't work. Um, so I when I see they tell me not to look at the viewer count and I try not to because they say that's not good 
Um, but it's hard because at the same time, this is the only way, this is my income, the way I need to make an income. Um, that's why now I'm staying with my parents because, uh, it's just, it's a long story. Uh, uh, so I hope it works out. I hope this can, can, can work for me. I do. I do. I hope, I hope if I come on here every day and I just go through the motions and do it, it'll work. And I just thank Jesus and I ask him to, to be my guide and to help me. And I think if I do that, I think things should work. But, um, uh, but, um, some of, some, some of my favorite things are, I love pecan pie, that's like one of my favorite things I love to eat is pecan pie on the holidays. I can make it homemade. Um, I love horror movies. Um, Stephen King, It, the original, was good. Um, I think the original was better than the second one because the second one, um, the, the part, part two of the second It, was horrible. It just stunk. So I, I'm an, I'm an 80s child. So yes, I guess I prefer the it original. So let me know what you guys think. But for me, I like the original miniseries, which aired on um I don't know, it aired on like Fox or it aired on ABC back in 19 to uh pause for one minute. My lovely water ice. It's just about melted, complete. Oh, there it goes. I spilled it all over my computer. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, give me one second to wipe this up. I'm here. Don't worry, fellas. I'm here just as long as I don't get it on my Surface Pro. Yeah, it didn't get on there. Because I can't replace it. That would have stunk if that had landed on my Surface Pro. I don't know what I would have done because I just went out and got an Xbox. And <laughs> I didn't even have the money to get that and I got it. I would have been, I would have been shit out of luck. Ooh. Sorry, pardon my French, but yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go put this one. Okay, I'm coming back. Give me one second. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. All taken care of. Whew. And my mom's in there watching her soap operas. So, I have, I have a sister, um, and that's it, it's just me and her, um, she's four years older than me, um, so I'm going to be 40, she's going to be 44. Um, I went to boarding school, uh, I went to a private school, it was called a pathway school. Um, and I, what else? I'm trying to think, because, you know, what, you know, there are some things that really, um, some people don't understand, um, 
like, for me, I have, um, like, I have, I've had a lot of things in my life, hardships and things, and, you know, and unless you've had something, same type of same, um, but, I mean, when I was a kid, I had a deer tick that had, I was out in these woods as a kid, and I had a deer tick crawl into my ear, go onto my eardrum, and just got real big, because it got just sucking on the blood, and we were all ready to get ready to go to the shore the very next day. Um, and I just said my ear was killing me. I kept crackling through it so it would want to climb out. Well, we did that for several nights. And one morning, my mom wakes up and she's screaming. <laughs> wakes the entire me. And she only ran over my legs. I know they say only, but fortunately it was my legs and none of them broke. Don't ask me how. Because I have, I have um, severe osteoporosis, but I guess because I was so young, I didn't have it at the time. Because um, that's something I got as I got older. But, and that's osteoporosis is a brittling of the bones. Um, that's what that is. So, but I've had that happen to me. Um, I've had a lot of things happen to me. Uh, I, oh, let me think of some other stories, um, oh, just, just last week, I'm driving to the store, and there's, I'm at a light, and behind me is a big rig, a big tractor trailer, behind that tractor trailer is a cop. Well, I didn't know there was a cop behind the tractor trailer. And I threw a pack of cigarettes out the window, an empty one. And I got pulled over and got a ticket. So that was my luck. And there's another story for you. It was $217 for throwing a pack of cigarettes out the window. Yeah. And it, I, everyone thought I should have got a warning. Like, they were so surprised. And what he said to me was, you're lucky, the cop said, you're lucky you were in this township because the township over would have mandatory, it would have been mandatory that I um, pick up trash on the side of the road for two weeks. So I think that's kind of, I can understand why. I mean, I don't believe in littering. I, I shouldn't have thrown it out, but I did it, I, so I had to, had to pay it, but, uh, I want to do a giveaway so bad, but I don't have enough people in my chat yet to do a giveaway. When I get 10 subs, I want to do a giveaway. When I reach 10 subs, that's when I want to do a giveaway. $20 Microsoft, um, I, I have them. I purchased three of them. I purchased three $20 Xbox uh, gift cards, the ones so you can rent a movie or, like I said, I'm new to gaming. I haven't gamed in 20 years. This is just, I just got a gaming system um, just recently. Um, my Xbox broke and I used my Xbox for, um, I used it as, as a, uh, for just uh, like Netflix and Amazon. Prime, but I never used my Xbox for gaming because 
I never, I, I, when I bought it, I bought it strictly for all the, all the streaming services, like Pandora, and so, now, before that, I had an Xbox 360, and I played games on that, and I used to, and that's the last time I really played games. After that, then I did get an Xbox, but not for playing games, just for using it as streaming. And now you don't even have to do that. You can just get a, a what is it, a, like a Amazon Fire Stick or whatever. But um, but now I'm gonna game. Now I'm starting to game. So I think that's I think that's good. I think that's positive. Um, but but yeah. So, I'll be gaming, and I haven't gamed in forever, because once I get, um, like, 10 subs, um, then I want to, um, also, possible, I, because of that car accident, I have a lot of cognitive issues, but, um, I hope you guys don't mind, but I have to light up a cigarette. I've been sitting here dying for a cigarette. So, I usually don't smoke on stream. If anybody has and is offended by this, please let me know and I will not light up. I'm going to give you about two minutes or three minutes to type in my, uh, to send me a message saying you really don't want me to smoke and I won't. But, uh, if... That doesn't offend anybody. Please just let me know, and I'll I will look right up. Okay, I'm going to light up then. Okay, so So, I own a townhouse, and it's currently not being lived in, obviously, because I'm living with my parents, um, and the place is flooded three times. Um, it was a bad purchase. It was a bad property, um, and I'm just, I made a really bad um, purchase. And now I have to fix the place up for the third time because it flooded and destroyed the entire first floor. Um, and the insurance company was like, if the, they're not going to pay for it because it's the third time within less than two years that it's flooded. And I've owned and I've owned the property for a total of two years, so. Um, I gotta get it, the, the association, because it's an association, to fix the problem. And I've been waiting for them to fix it since last July 19th. And nothing has been done yet. No work. And I'm still waiting. And... My mother and father are both on the board there as well. Investment properties. So they're upset. Um, and now we're just gonna, my parents are getting off the board and then they're gonna sell both of their units and I'm selling mine. And I gotta get the hell out of there and then I gotta find another place to live. And this is just, all this is just very so stressful. Very overly stressful. All at once, all this. I mean, I gotta find a new house. 
I gotta find, I gotta sell my, fix it up, sell it. I gotta move this shit out of the part of my line. I've gotta move the crap out from the one house, bring it over to my parents, and then move it again another time and bring it to the new place. So this is a, it's, gonna, it's not gonna be a quick process. And I've already been at my parents for, well, it happened last July 19th. And when it happened last July 19th, I moved in with my, with a really good friend of mine. And, and I stayed there until from like the 19th of July or till, or the 20th of July, because I don't think I went the very first day it half flooded. I think like the next day I went and stayed with him. And I stayed with him until like a couple days before Thanksgiving, like in November. So I was with him for six months or a little less than six months. And then I've been at my parents for over six, a little over six months. So a year it's been since I've been living independently. Um, so, but, but yeah, um, feel free if you're, anybody who wants to talk or say something, you know, feel free, come on in. Now, I prefer Pizza Hut over Domino's, um, but I think I prefer like a pizzeria pizza the best. Um, although I just had pizza today, literally, just like less than an hour ago, and it was from a pizzeria pizza, uh, a place called Spatola's, um, Spatola's, and it was really salty, the cheese. And I think, uh, I'm not going to get extra cheese next time, but that's something I I wonder, like, what people think. Like, do they prefer pizzeria pizza? Do they prefer fast food pizza is what I call it, because it's like Domino's and Pizza Hut. I don't consider that like a regular pizza. Um, then I love Chinese food. Oh, Chinese food, I love that. But that they give you so much food when you get it. It's expensive too, but you get a lot. Um, and then uh, movies I like. I love the movie Rose Red by Stephen King. Storm of the Century by Stephen King. It by Stephen King. Um, the Langoliers by Stephen King. All these by Stephen King. Um, The, the Others, um, these are all horror movies, um, Thinner, another Stephen King movie, um, oh, I'm trying to think of, Poltergeist, obviously, um, oh, oh, The Last Key, what is it, what is the whole series of these called, oh, it's a classic, Insidious, that's it, there it goes, it came to me. Insidious. Oh, I love that. A friend of mine just found uh, the um, Pet Cemetery. Uh, another Stephen King. Um, uh, Rouge Red. God, that was a good one. I know I said that already, but that was a good one. Um, horror is. I, I love like movies, um, but I'm still I'm still very active in it though. Um, Paranormal Investigator. Um, it was called. Um, well, what was the name of it? Oh, I don't even have this shirt anymore. I was, no, I do still have my shirt. Um, the it's basically you go and they teach you all about like a K two meter. Oh, uh, 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 EMF detector, uh, 
you name it. I'm trying to draw in blanks. Um, but they teach you all about what to do on an, on like an investigation when you go into these places. And for like a hundred dollars, they'll, and it's usually about 10 people go, they'll take you to like Penhurst, which I think is like, it was an old asylum years ago, like hundreds of years ago. And it is literally haunted. And they lock, good God, there's lots of flies out here. And they lock, and they lock, um, lock you into the place and they don't open the doors until the next morning and you have all your equipment all your detectors um you have you have like you, you have your uh drawing blanks i hate this <laughs> you got all your equipment let's just put it that way and it's interesting i mean i've captured evps voices um it's uh, oh it's something embodied voices see this is it's been a while since i've um actually gone to a meeting and studied this um i used to be really really good at it i have a pendulum um and he told me that i should stop it he said he said that it was it was because what I told him was, when I was dabbling in it, and he, my sister was the one that got freaked out, I had to have my house, um, I had to have like a, they did a, um, not necessarily an exorcism, I forget what they call it, a house cleansing, I think it was called, um, because, when I was using my pendulum, I brought some spirits into the house. I don't live in that house anymore. Um, and so I had to go, and that's how come I got affiliated with this program, um, the Philadelphia Paranormal Society, because I had to call them because my sister was over my house and we were sitting in my living room and my trash can went, the lid just opened and closed back and forth like this, <laughs> the lid. And my sister was like, I can't stay in here. And I had pictures of like, um, I wish I could get them on my computer. Um, I had pictures <clears throat> um, with a um, night vision camera and I took a picture and you can see the, the, the whole outline of a shoulder, a face, a head, the eyes, the nose, not to mention I took uh, photos with my night vision camera and I caught tons of orbs everywhere and uh, my sister wouldn't come back in the house. She refused to. Um, she was really scared. So I called my priest and he told me to stop, you know, because he said it wasn't, if you don't know, he said it just to stop, it wasn't, that it was, it was, it was evil. He said it was not good. Um, and then the person that cleansed the house said not to mess with it, you know, said that, you know, you really got to know what you're doing. And then that's when they said, here we have this program, uh, it's a group organization and we can help you and you can make sure you don't do it the wrong way where you'll bring things into your home. And so me and my mom, we both joined. My dad, uh, uh, no way. He was not a believer of that. My sister is though, she, she believes in that. Um, right now, I really, I do believe in it strongly, but I still have that in the back of my mind with what the priest said to me because I'm a very religious person. You hear me all the time on here talking about the Lord. So I think that's why.
to the curb. It is trash night. Once again, once again, it is trash night. I have to take the trash up to the curb tonight. Welcome to my channel. The name is Brian, Brian vs. Gaming. Here I am. Let's sing along. Let me go here, I'm gonna go over to, type this in, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, here we go, good one from the 80s. Wake up. Would walk by the moon and last in I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's watching to you. What else do I got? Something I render uptight. Let's find that song. Right now, let's do Stevie Wonder. I just called to say I love you. No New Year's Day to celebrate. No chocolate cups, candy hearts to give away. First of flower blooms. No wedding Saturdays within the month of June. 